Hi everyone! In this video, we'll learn how to create a virtual environment within a Jupyter Notebook. Let's start first by reviewing what a Python virtual environment is, and it is a way to create a virtual installation of Python inside a project directory. Users can then install and manage Python packages for each project. This allows users to be able to install packages and modify their Python environment without breaking packages installed in other environments. Let's go over a use case for this dependency issue. Let's say that we want to review a project that uses TensorFlow 2.10.0. We have all these dependencies that are required in order to run TensorFlow, including NumPy version 1.2.3. However, in the environment that we're working in, we have NumPy 1.0.0. This becomes an issue because if we have another package that relies on NumPy 1.0.0, and we override it with the newer NumPy, then that will break that package dependency, which is why we would want to set up a virtual environment in order to review this project. We also have an issue of package bloat. If in a certain environment, whether we're just running it locally or within another virtual environment, we keep downloading and installing more and more packages, then we'll take up a lot of memory. For example, TensorFlow takes up a lot of memory, 1.26 gigabytes. The other packages may not, they only take a few megabytes or kilobytes, but if we install more and more packages, this will bloat our available space and potentially cause issues for us. And we may never use these packages again, which is again, why we'd want to set up a virtual environment that we could delete later once we're done reviewing the project. Now that we know why we would create a virtual environment, let's stand one up. I am going to exit out of our Jupyter Notebook. Within our downloads folder, we'll create the environment. When you install Python, there's a built-in virtual environment manager called VENV that we will use. I'm going to type python-m, then call the VENV package. Then I am going to name our environment test. Let's run this. And we've set up our environment within the downloads folder. Let's bring it up and we could go inside and we could see that we have some scripts, a library. We can take a look at the site packages and we can see that we have pip within our virtual environment, which will help us install some things that we need. If we go back out and go into scripts, we'll have to activate our virtual environment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the path, go back to our command prompt and change directory into the scripts folder and I am going to activate it. I'm going to type in activate tab and then hit enter. And we can see that we are in our environment. We can see the name of the environment test within parentheses. What I have to do is I need to install a few things. What I'll do first is I'm going to install TensorFlow. So I'm going to call pip install TensorFlow. Next, we need to install IPy kernel. This time I'll go pip install ipy kernel. And if we go back to our virtual environment, we can go inside the library and site packages, search for TensorFlow, and we can see that we were able to download TensorFlow and all the necessary packages. Now that we have it installed, what we need to do next is we need to create a kernel. The way that we'll do this is we're going to call Python dash M and we're going to call IPy kernel. Then we need to install and we need to do dash dash user. And then finally the name of our kernel and I'm going to call the kernel test. And we have the full line here. Let's run this. And now we have it added into our kernel list. I am going to deactivate our current environment what we also need to do is sometimes this doesn't completely deactivate it. So I'm going to close out of this command prompt and open up a new one. And I am going to change directories back to our downloads folder where we have our notebook. And I am going to open up our notebook by calling Python M notebook. And here we have our notebook. If we take a look at the kernels, we can see that we can change kernels. Now we have the two options, Python 3, this is our local environment, and we also have our virtual environment. If we scroll down, we can see that we can try to import TensorFlow. And 
when we tried to do that in our local environment, we're unable to because we installed it in our virtual environment, not our local environment. What we need to do is go back to kernel and we need to change the kernel to test. And once the kernel started and it's ready, we'll try to import it. And we can see that we were able to import TensorFlow into our virtual environment and we have it set up within Jupyter. What we can finally do is we can uninstall our environment. And I am going to do this within our command prompt again. If we go back out, I am going to close out of Jupyter. And I am going to say Jupyter kernel spec uninstall test, and this uninstalls our test environment. We need to confirm, yes, hit enter, and it is now removed. And we could go back and we can delete our environment once we are done reviewing whatever we need to review with TensorFlow. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included references that I used to put this together. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks again and happy coding everyone.